In this video, I am going to explain why restriction of kidney can create low back pain. Kidney is very, very important organ for core muscles and tight low back and low back pain. You know, actually, internal organ is very, very complicated structure. They have relationship with nervous tissue, blood vessels, other organs, uh, relationship with uh, many muscles. So if you want to focus on internal organs and low back pain, you can find various ways to uh, make a hypothesis. So I want to focus on two structures that may be cause for low back pain. First thing is muscular system muscle. Simple enough, right? Second reason is nervous tissues. Nerves, okay? So, kidney mainly has relationship with muscles and nervous tissues. So, when kidney gets restriction, that can affect muscles plus nervous tissues. Now, let me explain what kind of muscles does kidney have relationship with? Again, this is kidney. This is right side, this is left side. Right side is slightly inferior compared to left one because there is liver on right side. Because liver is humongous organ, right side kidney is slightly inferior compared to left side. Okay. Anyway, what kind of muscles are there around kidney? There are four key muscles. This is quadrata cerebellum. Number one. This is psoas. Number two. Number one. Quadrata cerebellum. Quadrata cerebellum. Number two is psoas. This is quadratus lamborum. This is psoas. Kidney has kind of attachment surface with quadratus lamborum and psoas. These two muscles attach to lumbar spines. So what happens when kidney gets restriction? That may affect quadratus lamborum and psoas. What happens then? that can inhibit movement of lumbar spines, thus low back pain can happen. It's simple, right? Quadratus lumborum and psoas. There are two other muscles. Number three is this one. That is diaphragm. Diaphragm. And number four, which you don't see, is like a corset muscle in abdomen that is transverse abdominis transverse abdominis this is the deepest abdominal muscle so kidney has relationship with diaphragm and transverse abdominis these two muscles are not very strong muscles compared to psoas and quadratus lamborum. However, when these two muscles are disturbed, that can lack stability of core. Okay? Diaphragm is not only breathing muscle, but it is important for stability of thorax and abdomen. So is transverse abdominis. Transverse abdominis is very deep and thin muscle. However, it's important for core stability, abdominal stability, maybe pelvic stability, and maybe for thoracic stability. Again, kidney has relationship with these two muscles. What happens when kidney got dysfunction? That can disturb these two deep muscles, then that can create tight low back or low back pain. Oh my gosh, 
quadratus lumborum, psoas, diaphragm, and transverse abdominis. By the way, these four muscles are connected. Okay? Even though you don't have to think about kidney and think about these four muscles by themselves, these muscles are connected. So when quadratus lumborum gets tight, that can affect other three muscles. So when psoas gets tight, that can affect other three muscles. Then you can put additional tissue, which is kidney. Now you can make more new idea for low back pain and tight low back. Does it make sense? So kidney is freaking important organ for low back pain. This is part one. Kidney has relationship with core muscles. Thus, that can create low back pain. Next part is relationship with nervous tissues. Okay, where is kidney? Kidney is about here. Now you see new structure, yellow structure. These are nerves, bundle of nerves. These are lumbar plexus. Lumbar plexus. Plexus means bundle of nerves. So, lumbar plexus is from literally lumbar spines. Okay? And kidney has relationship with few parts of lumbar plexus, especially around superior part. Okay, okay. That's simple. But when kidney gets tight, that can affect whole part of lumbar plexus. Why? Why is that? Because kidney is about around superior part of lumbar plexus. Why does it affect whole part of lumbar plexus? Because Plexus means bundle of nerves. So these nerves are kind of intertwining each other. That means this superior part can have relationship with inferior part. Vice versa. Inferior part of nerve can have relationship with superior part because they are intertwining each other. So when kidney gets tight, that can affect whole part of lumbar spines and nerves, of course, right? Then, where are these nerves going? Where are these nerves innovating? Okay, that's a lot, okay? So, that innovates abdominal muscles. Let's say core muscles. Core muscles. Number two, gentile area. Gentile area, especially around pubis. Okay. Number three, quadriceps. Quadriceps. And number four, adductor muscles. Number five, skin sensation. Let's say skin. So these are pretty much it. Core muscles, gentile area, quadriceps, adductor muscles, and skin sensation. Again, what happens when kidney gets dysfunction? That can affect whole part of these parts, right? So kidney is freaking important for low back. When kidney is restricted, maybe visceral manipulation can help restriction, or maybe uh, exercise can help kidney restriction, such as uh, yoga and Pilates. Do you know why? Because kidney has relationship with core muscles, such as diaphragm, quadratus lumborum, transverse abdominis, and psoas. So that might help. Oh my gosh, that's why I love kidney, okay? If you liked today's video, please hit the like button comment and subscribe. See you next video.